police emergency. Call you through to the police. Can I help? Hi, I'm... I'm... Shut your fucking mouth! This video will be covering one of the most well-known and iconic gang wars in UK drill history. Both sides are split by just a bridge, which is often referred to in the music. Ladbroke Grove and Mozart have been at war for over a decade now but only in the last five years has it become internationally recognized, due to the major rappers coming out of each side. The hatred between Fredo, HRB, and Diggity, CGM, is clear for everyone to see and it's all due to the real-life situations that have been raging in West London since 2016. Previously, they were both beefing with Zart, Warwick and Grove Olders beefing heavily until the early 2010s when they all started to go to jail. The beef died down a lot following this, with a few drills still occurring between each side, with G. Dots, HRB, allegedly shooting up Grove before he died. It wouldn't be until 2016 when the beef really reignited again, with the younger generation of Grove coming up in the streets. HRB still had a lot of their older generation active in the hood but weren't that interested in the Grove beef at the time, instead focusing more on Stonebridge and South Kilburn. However, over the years they would have to start taking them seriously after many of their senior rollers started getting touched regularly. At the time 10-11 were active and turning up on their ops in bush but would also start to bang for their rollers on Zart as well. Both beefs were getting very serious, with Bush replying far more often than Zart and leading to CGM starting to slyly bully them as the years went by. Ladbroke Grove is a very complicated set to beef due to their location. There are two sides with blocks and very posh areas, meaning they have a high police presence in the area. It's not a coincidence they've never lost a member in the ends. HRB members would usually ride there in large groups and regularly run down and score on their members. But Grove would have a number of serious youngers who were applying serious pressure. At the time it was CJ, Crazy Jods, 1011, Johnny 50, 1011 Boss, and Cine Say So, 1011, who were really active in 2016. But in 2017 and 2018, Dig Goody, TY, 1011, ZK, AP and Rack 5, CGM, would really get active too and start applying serious pressure. But back in 2016, like I said it was far more even. Kid, HRB, rid to Grove with Fredo and others art members, spotting CJ, criminal trapping on the block and jumping out on him, with K Kid stabbing him in the eye, causing CJ to lose it. As a result, Johnny 50 stabbed K Kid for his brother. Members were now riding on each other on a daily or weekly basis but often wouldn't find anyone, although many were getting touched. Fredo would end up getting touched himself though in the biggest drill scored in the beef to this date. He was chilling in Mozart with Ratlin, HRB, a rapper older from Zart, when they were caught lacking by CJ. They both tried to escape but Fredo was quickly caught and stabbed in his back. It would soon become the biggest point scored in the beef, as Fredo started to blow up differently in the music industry. Ratlin ended up shooting up CJ's house but whenever he bucked into 1011 slash CGM members in person, he would end up running away or sadly getting stabbed.
as the beef entered 2017, 1011 started to get a lot more active on Mozart, as the bush beef continued to be frying as well. ZK, 1011, would start getting very active and riding with olders. While he was scoring on bush, he would often ride on Mozart too and letting off shots on their block. On one of these occasions, he would hit Mistro, HRB, shooting at him another time and making him crash his car. For a younger who was only 15 to 16 at this point he was really getting big men down, just as his olders were themselves. Mozart was scoring themselves though, with Driggs, HRB, and HRB members riding out to Grove, spotting CJ and young Zapts, 1011. CJ ran away, after already falling victim to Mozart, but YZ couldn't get away quick enough and he got stabbed in his bum. But 1011 were also catching cases, with Splasher, Striker, 1011, and Kill, 1011, catching two cases for four stabbings. CJ would soon get arrested and charged for a triple stabbing on Bush at Carney the year before with Shambiz, Grove, and got 15 years, as I mentioned before. By this point, the beef had barely hit the music yet, with most shots from 1011 being sent to Bush and Mozart not mixing the beef and the music. Fredo was blowing up by this point too and taking the hood with him, trying to leave the streets behind. But as he was reaching new levels, 1011 were quickly becoming one of the biggest UK drill groups, with a large set of cold rappers. Ten Eleven were blowing up throughout 2017 but many of their rappers were catching cases. Diggity, Jsaf, 1011, TY, Huncho, 1011, and Mscom were all riding out on Bush when they got arrested and wouldn't touch round until 2018 and 2019. While they were off the roads, it would be AP and ZK who were riding the most from Grove. Mozart still weren't retaliating as much as they were in 2016 and soon another of their main members would get touched. Ratlin had been caught lacking by ZK and made to jump fences to escape. However, he would get caught again, this time by AP, while he was with Fredo. Fredo, like Ratlin did to himself, ran away and left his older to get stabbed. It was a massive violation for Mozart but they still weren't retaliating that much. There are a few reasons for this. The main two reasons is due to the location of Grove and the amount of police in the area, with many posh areas. The second reason is the fact that so many of 1011 main members were incarcerated and just weren't as big a set as HRB to target. They also had a number of other deadly beefs going on around them. As the year turned to 2018, it would soon start to heat up even further, when Digger and Jsaf were released from prison. When they landed on road, they would start rapping again and continuing their buzz but still continued riding and scoring on Mozart. Digger would be riding on the mains with M Scum when they spotted Cake Kid with Malik, HRB boss. Malik is not a rider but a big drug boss from the area and has a lot of respect from people of all ages in the hood. K-Kid was their main target and they would chase him into a nearby shop but were unable to reach him. So, they turned their attention to Malik and stabbed him once in the back as he attempted to get onto his motorbike and flee the scene. It would just be the start of six months of pure riding from Grove on to Mozart which would see the beef start to reach the music for the first time. Although Digger was the biggest rapper from his hood, in the same way Fredo was, he would continue to ride out and try to catch bodies. 
he would start using guns every time he rode out, shooting at skins, HRB, and Smiley, HRB, making them hop fences. He also caught Triggs outside his house and shot at him as he managed to escape. He also claims he shot at Lil Dot, HRB, who claims himself that he's also slapped cornered Digger. But it would be the 2nd of January 20th 19 where it would get too bait and they would all get arrested again. In this period, Digger was literally flexing guns bait face with ZK on Snapcat. He was allegedly using one of these guns when they rode out to Mozart in two separate vehicles. On the mains was 20 HRB members who saw ZK and JSAF charging at them with Rambos out. They caught DSAF, HRB, and got into a knife fight, with JSAF stabbing him in the stomach, as TSAF struck back, stabbing ZK in his cheek and leaving him with a serious scar. Digger slapped it off from the other side at them before all sides fled and ended up getting arrested at the hospital. At trial, they would all be convicted of violent disorder and sentenced to between one to four years. It set the tone for 2019, as it continued being just as violent as many of the 1011 members were getting released from prison. 1011 was now being known as CGM, following the ride out and the CBOs which were handed down. Rack 5 wasn't that involved in the HRBB after being released from prison. While inside, he was recruited by CGM and once on the roads, he would start to target Bush. But when he was caught lacking by a large group of Zart elders, he was made to run off and leave. In retaliation, he would ride out with a gun on up on his wands. He spotted a car full of HRB olders driving around. Rack 5 pulled up and started shooting, claiming to have hit K Kid in the attack, although this has been denied. But other members were also getting very active. TY would get released from prison, where he'd got into several fights with HRB members such as CEO Mouth, HRB, Fredo's manager. Once outside. He would ride out often over the next two years on Mozart, scoring multiple times. His first point on the batch was when he stabbed Peanut, HRB, but he would soon score another one of the biggest points scored in the entire beef. Pancho would also get released that year, not getting that involved in the beef but he did stab DD, HRB, in the earlier part of the beef before he was jailed. DSAF was still on bail for the stabbing of ZK and would almost see himself turn victim again. This time he would be heading back to his house with Rugrats, HRB, when YF, CGM, spotted him while waiting outside. Trying to shoot DSAF, he saw him shut the door on his own friend trying to save his life. It was really getting peak for HRB at this point. Although they publicly claimed that they weren't bothered by their ops in Grove. Sadly for them, 2020 would only get worse. Over the previous three years, 
Grove had been applying serious pressure to Mozart and they weren't looking to stop. By this point, the bush beef had died down a lot and now HRB were now viewed as their top targets to score on. LA, Latimer members were also starting to get a lot more active in the beef, with members like Rondo, LA, causing serious problems. He would score three points over the next 18 months, including on Smiley, HRB. A body would almost drop, but it wouldn't be connected to this beef. Mello, HRB, a serious Zartolda, would shoot a 1, SSK, in his head, almost killing him. South Kilburn are very close with Mscom and he would take it extremely personally. SSK had retaliated for him when he was stabbed by Box so he decided to ride back for a 1, shooting a HRB member in the back. Mello was also get stabbed by TY which would be another massive point for Grove in the beef. But Zart would retaliate for him, shooting Ice, CGM, in the stomach in Notting Hill in August 20th 20. Ice is one of the biggest trappers in Grove and very close to many of the main riders in HRB and they would try and get back for him. By this point, Digger D was finally free again after serving his sentence. Now the Fredo vs Digger Beef would reach new heights. Clearly he was getting under Fredo's skin, with him sending for Grove on InstaLive and making moves to get under Digger's skin in return. It wouldn't be until 2021 when this really would be made clear. As the year drew to a close, it would be another tough one for HRB and luckily for them, 2021 wouldn't be as bad although Grove were still riding. It was actually the drills that made Fredo as mad as he did, but the dissing of his dead friends which Grove had nothing to do with. He would rant about them and even expose their DMs to him over Insta, claiming they were fans instead of ops. While this makes sense as he was now boss in his own right, Grove had scored on him and most of his friends. Their youngers were also still riding with Rondo and T.Y. catching mouth on road and trying to window ching him before he drove away luckily escaping. Rondo would ride with LF, Lil Febs, CGM, numerous times to Mozart, scoring twice, including once on Nerms, HRB. This drill would eventually see them both arrested and sentenced to five years in prison. They're predicted to be released in late 2023. Mozart would now try and get back for all their friends who'd fallen victim to the beef but by this point there wasn't many CGM members at all left on road. Most of them were in prison or had enough money to not be trapping on the block like they were as teenagers. They don't really have a younger generation like that either and are a very hard gang to score on. Only Bush have really been able to have them or some kind of ropes back in the day. CGM are very underrated due to the fact they've not caught any bodies in West but the truth is they haven't needed to. They beef over five gangs in West and haven't lost a single body since 2011. And that body was caught by accident in Bristol. But if they couldn't score on them, they would get back in an even worse way. As the year turned to 2022, the beef between both sides was now widely recognized by most people who listen to either Fredo or Digger's music. They are both now charting successes and very rich but still hate each other with a passion. I believe that CBiz, a pounder, is the only person Fredo hates more. After Digger split with Maya Mills, she started to chill a lot more with his ops in Zart to mess with him. She's got photos with random guys like V Dots, HRB, which just shows how calm she is with everyone in their set. So, 
When she went on holiday with all of them at the start of the year, Digga was rightly pissed. To make things worse, Lil Dots was streaming on Insta when he showed Maya getting with Fredo. It made Digga head to the net to vent his frustration, claiming Fredo was somehow a predator because of the age gap. But they are both adults in their 20s. Fredo and Maya clearly knew what they were doing and they both achieved what they wanted. In recent months, the beef has not been as frying in the streets but more in the booth as CGM are claiming victory and HRB are still claiming they're wet for catching no bodies. Like I said, Digger and his guys in CGM often claim bodies that weren't caught by them. A similar situation would occur again in the summer when Big Wu, HRB, was shot dead. Digger would send subliminals on Snap which seemed to claim responsibility. I don't have any information on who killed Wu but I personally believe it was SSK who were responsible. This would be retaliation for Gucci, SSK, who was killed by AGB and HRB. It also makes sense as M. Lo, A. Panda, was shot dead only weeks later and Wu's brother Lil Dots would celebrate as a result. That comes up to the present day. Thankfully, the beef has died down a lot but it could only take one situation to spark it up again. It's sad as Fredo and Dig probably could have been friends and released music if the situation was different. But here we are. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.